This tutorial is for second grade, module 6, lesson 10. In this lesson, we will build arrays using color tiles where the tiles are set right next to each other so there's no gaps or overlaps in the arrays that we build. This is leading to the area model of multiplication that the students will see next year. The direction says use your square tiles to construct the following rectangles with no gaps or overlaps on your work mat. Write a repeated addition sentence to match each construction. So the first one is to construct a rectangle with two rows of three tiles. And this is what that rectangle would look like. I have two rows and there's three tiles in each row. Now I just need to write a repeated addition sentence to match it. Since there's three tiles in each row, my addition sentence would be three plus three for a total of six. The next direction says to construct a rectangle with two columns of three tiles. And here's what that rectangle would look like. And the repeated addition sentence for this rectangle would be two plus two plus two equals six, because I'm showing the two tiles that are in each row, and we still have a total of six. Next, we will construct a rectangle with five rows of two tiles. And the repeated addition equation for this rectangle would be two plus two plus two plus two plus two, because I have five rows of two, and my total then would be 10. Two, four, six, eight, ten squares in all. When we construct a rectangle with five columns of two tiles, we'll basically take that last rectangle and turn it on its side. That means the repeated addition problem for this rectangle would be five plus five equals ten, because there are five squares in each row. The next question says to construct a rectangle of nine tiles so that the rows are the same size as the columns. So we need the same number of tiles in each row as we have in each column. And this rectangle would meet those requirements. We have our nine tiles, we have three in each row, and we have three in each column. You'll also notice that this shape is a square and of course a square is a special type of rectangle. The repeated addition problem would be three plus three plus three equals nine. The next question is showing us an array and it first asks what shape is the array pictured below? So we would say it is a rectangle. And then the second part of the question says to redraw the above shape with one column removed in the space below. So we're going to take out one of the columns. That means I'm going to have an array that has three rows and three columns, just like we did in the previous problem. And now we can say that our array is a special type of rectangle. It is a square. 